Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. And uh, well, I've just been ambushed by NPC AI guards at a roadblock. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install these uh, NPC AI guarded uh, roadblocks on your PC server. Um, so <laughs> I was just driving along just to take it out, and uh, they started to open fire on me. Here they come! These guys are very aggressive. Now, luckily, I've got a on, so they can't kill me. But to give you an idea of what they do, die. Is that all of them? Oh, oh no, no! Look, look at this fella. What's he doing? <laughs> I think he's got, maybe he's got a little bit stuck. Oh, right, now he's climbing over there. Oh, no, he's, he's still shooting at me. Look at this, how aggressive they are. How cool is this? So, what I've done is using Daisy Editor Mod, I've created a custom JSON file that spawns in these kind of roadblock structures. And then I've also created some code snippets that will spawn in the AI to man the... Oh, we've got another one. I must have just knocked him out. You've got to be careful because if you just wound them, you don't kill them. They do. They do wake up and they do come after you. As I say, I've got God mode on, so so they can't come after me. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to um, how to install them. So let, let's come out of this. Let's exit from here, and let us go to the most important place, which is my GitHub repository. But first things first, you must make sure that on your server whether it be local server or your remote community server you've got the daisy expansion ai mod installed i'll put a link to the mod in the description below this video i will also put a link to my how to install daisy expansion ai video below this video as well it does have pretty good instructions actually on how to install it so, so that, that's pretty good and then the next thing you want to do is you want to go over to my GitHub repository. Again, I'll put um, a link in the description below this video. And then you want to grab all the files. So what you do is you click on the code button, uh, click on download zip, and when you download it, then extract it or unzip it on your local local drive. Um, and basically, there's uh, there's a number of files here. There's quite a few JPEGs, and these are pictures of the different Roblox in the different places they are. And there's also a couple of JPEGs that show you where the roadblocks are so this is the overall one and there's some um, close-up ones as well uh, so you can see exactly where they are i tried to put them on some of the pinch points towards some of the more common places um, on chernerus that people would use as they were driving or going along the roads uh, i also tried to do it so they were away from gas zones and spawning police cars that that sort of thing and there's this is like it uh, a typical roadblock now what I did do it took me a while because every single roadblock is different with different structures on it um, but they all have with the with the file uh, snippets that I've uh, I'll be giving you three AI um, that have the Tisco at, um, loadout so they look like military guys you know and they are aggressive to I think they're aggressive to everybody <laughs> these these guys will go after zombies they'll go after other AI everything but they're they're programmed just to kind of stay with the roadblock until someone comes along and then they will start fighting them um, I've also done it so that they should always walk so they won't start sprinting after you because I wanted it like these are professional soldiers, you know, they're all tactical. They just, you know, they know what they're going to do and they want to kill you and they want to come across like that. So, the most important file though, when when you download this, is the readme.txt, and the readme.txt includes all of the instructions. It's a step by step uh, instructions on how to install it. And the kind of the shorter version of this is that in the first part of installing it, what you're going to do is you're going to install a uh, custom object spawner json roblox uh, underscore churnerus dot json to your server and you're going to refer to that in your cfg gameplay dot json and i'll explain all this in the readme however what i have included in the github repository is the editable roblox churnerus dot dze file so this is the original um, daisy editor file that you could import well you could open up in the daisy editor mod and then you could customize the roblox even further so you could put some more work into them to make them a bit more immersive maybe you know with a few more bits around them um, and then you can export it and then just call it road dash blocks dot churners dot json upload to that fault upload that to your um server or put it on your local server in place of my one and then you'll have you know your own spin on the roblox obviously you can't move them somewhere else because you'd have to change some of the other settings as well 
Then the second part of the instructions is how you add the code snippet into the um, AI patrol settings.json on your server. Now remember, I'll say it again, you must have AI expansion AI working on your server already to then add this in. Um, you must have at least run it through once so that the uh, the uh, AI uh, expansion has, has had a chance to create the relevant fo the files. And one of the files is AI patrol settings, which is inside the settings inside your missions folder. Um, but again, it's all explained in the README. And basically, these are the uh, little bits of code snippets that add in these mercenaries. So you can see they're called mercenaries. Um, they use the TTSKO loadout. There's three of them. They they, they halt. They walk. Um, they have unlimited reloads. So they got unli unlimited ammunition. And then these waypoints. There's only one waypoint, and that relates to the location of the roadblock and there's there's one for each of them now the other thing you could do if you wanted to yeah i have included a complete ai patrol settings.json file that includes those um those guards so what you could do is you could just upload that on top of the existing ai patrol settings.json instead of having to insert the the text that's obviously easier but you've got to remember that i created this file on the 15th of july so that as expansion ai gets updated um, that file will go out of date if you like um, so it's not the best way of doing it the best way of doing it is to install um, the 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 uh, the egg well it's kind of an XML snippet this snippet here into the um, AI patrol settings .json. Um, also as they update uh, expansion AI you may well find that add in more settings so for example today they did an update which added in the uh, waypoint interpolation setting so I had to redo it so just bear in mind that you may well have to in the future add in certain things if you want to take advantage of them um, and then the final thing that you can add in as well is a XML snippet which you can add to your map group pos.xml because certain roadblocks have things like military tents um, and if you want loot to spawn in them um, as per the central loot economy then you can add this uh, into your map group pos at the top and then when people kill all the um, guards they can go into the military tent and then loot it and, and take the stuff um, now this this snippet includes every single thing that's built so some of these things don't spawn loot but again the idea of having them is if at some time in the future daisy does add spawning loot on top of land roadblock tables or land roadblock wooden crates or inside static object roadblock pillbox um, then um, you'll have loot spawning in them now you don't have to do part three you, know, you don't have to have loot spawning in but i think it's a nice touch and then when you've done all that you know just restart the server and those ai uh, bots should start to spawn in when it comes to testing them please bear in mind that they only spawn in when you're at least um uh you, you, as you're approaching them you must you must be at least 400 meters away and no more than a thousand meters away so that if you're testing whether they're working the best way to do it is to spawn in a car drive away and then drive back to the um to, to the uh, roadblock and they will spawn in if you try and use admin tools just to spawn in near the roadblock chances are you'll be too close for them to bother spawning in just like you would with with other events you know you can't just trigger events just by being there you need to enter the area of the event which triggers the spawn and, and you can have a bit of fun with it that way so there we go so head over to my github repository go through the readme download the files and then pretty quick you're gonna have some it really does add a bit of spice it does because you're driving along and all of a sudden these guys start open up on you now one final thing i would say is they are pretty deadly these guys you know when three of these guys start firing at you it takes out your vehicle pretty quick and it'll kill you pretty quick so the idea of this it forces people to get off the road um and be a little bit more careful as they're moving around so there we go npc ai controlled uh, or guarded roadblocks for Daisy on PC on Chernerus as part of the AI expansion mod. If you found the video useful and you found the mod useful, hit like if you want to see more the same press subscribe and I will of course see you again soon.